we're on the west side of the Bridger Range. It's April 6th and tomorrow will be our last daily advisory of the season. Throughout the advisory area, we have a mostly spring snowpack and instabilities for now are confined to new snow that falls. Last night we had three to five inches of snow through the advisory area, about three inches here. Um, really dense, almost moist snow. We're on a southwest aspect, so this hasn't really received direct sunlight or warm temps yet today. But the new snow that falls through the spring, it's uh, gonna create a few issues. Before the sun hits it, we could have dry, loose snow avalanches or where the wind creates fresh drifts, we could see dry dry wind slabs breaking. And then when on, on slopes that get the sun, we'll start to see wet, loose avalanches. And uh, those could run long distances on this crust and get fairly large. Below that new snow, we have a, a nice cr frozen crust. And then the snowpack below that on east, south, and west aspects is wet and uh, kind of unconsolidated. So when this crust breaks down, if we have multiple nights without our freeze, if we're not feeling this crust in the morning and sinking up to our knees or waist, that's a sign that, that we could see larger avalanches going deeper into that snow. But right now that's actually uh, fairly, when I break through that crust, fairly supportable snowpack showing me that up at these higher elevations, it's gotten a lot of heat and kind of consolidated. So we will need multiple nights without freezing to see deeper avalanches. Something to think about later in the spring. Um, so it's springtime, there's a lot of variability as we go from low elevations up higher or descend, we could find dry snow up high, it could turn to wet snow down low, and same as we change from west, say we're on west this morning, it's dry, we go over to the east, it could be wet and, and wet sliding already. So anticipate changing conditions and uh, have alternate plans, maybe rock climbing or fishing, it's not a bad time of year for that. Um, but if the snow is good, yeah, just keep an eye out for changing conditions. Expect that the weather forecasts might be a little bit off and some of the weather data might under or over report uh, snow and precip. So, so go out with an open mind and, and be safe this spring. See you again next winter.